are you guys doing today? Boy, do I have a treat for you. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY. I know, you guys don't know me, but it's pretty crazy because I cannot do this. I tried to do a DIY before, and it just ended up horrible and a mess. But I was able to do this DIY, and I want to show you guys what it is. And it's a Halloween treat for you guys because it is Halloween themed. And instead of doing a pumpkin, I decided to do um, something different. So, show you guys. I will show you guys the items. I will show you guys the stuff you'll need to make it, and where I bought all this stuff. And information below. So while you're down below. You can click that like button and subscribe to my channel and there will be more DIYs waiting for you. If you, if I get 100 likes, I will do more. So please like my video below. So, today I will show you what I made. Oh, kind of tilted, kind of tilted. Alright. So let me just make sure if you guys can see. So as you guys can see, the jars, that is below. You're probably asking yourself, what are these jars? Well, I will show you. These jars are kind of like pumpkins, but instead of pumpkins, they are jars. Yes, I just clarified that for you, thank you. All right, and I will show you guys the items. So this is the first one I made. I mean, not the first one, sorry. This is the first one I made. Here we go. Here's the second one. This one's my favorite. Got the tree. And then we got another tree. I'm sorry that I could not show you guys exactly how I did this, but I did record it and none of the videos are coming out pretty good. So I decided to do a re redo, re -over, redo and show you guys a um, better view of the jars. So, yes. And also, happy Halloween to you guys. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. I hope you get all your neighbors to give you candy to get candy and if they don't remember there's toilet paper at the store and we will toilet paper your house if you don't give us candy yes don't do that actually that's pretty bad that's pretty bad advice <laughs> don't say that um also i will show you guys my costume beforehand um and yeah, so this ought to be a great video. So I'm going to show you guys kind of, I'm going to put these off to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. So I can show you guys what you will need for the making of these jars. So first you will need the obvious, which is Krylon Shimmering Metallic Purple Sparkly Paint. You can also use blue for you guys out there if you don't want to use purple. You can also use blue. That is in the instructions. Okay, next you will need a knife. No, I'm just kidding. Next you'll need a black marker. I use this Premier Color um, marker. It also is number PB98 if you want to look for that at Michael's. It's there. That's where I got it. It was about $3.98 for this pen. Yes, I know. But it comes with two sides, so it gets the $3. It has uh, this side. This is for, like, the coloring in part. And then it also has this side for drawing it. So I was pretty happy. I got two for one. Next, you'll need this knife. No, I'm just kidding. Don't use a Sharpie. Sharpie doesn't work. I know you guys want to, I wish I could show you guys, but this thing is totally dried out. Um, but don't use a Sharpie because it doesn't work. You know, if you guys know those uh, coloring books that you used to get when you were kids and they had all the um, like paints in them and you mix them around with water and it didn't do anything, well, that's what the Sharpie does on the glass. So. Don't use Sharpie. 
And if you don't want to use this pen or you can't find this pen or there's no more, you can use um, you can use paint too. Um, just make sure you get a fine tip and a little bit wide tip because for the little trees and stuff, um, that might be a little bit harder. But if you want black paint or this pen, that'll work. Next, you'll need scissors. Doesn't matter what kind of scissors as long as they cut. These are kitchen scissors. They are the only ones that I have within my my house had these scissors, but these are more like kitchen scissors. These are kitchen scissors. Yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Next, you will need tea lights. If you guys can't find these, they are very easy to find, especially now in the holidays. Um, just go to any store, pretty much. You can go to Michaels, go to Target, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Giant, you can go anywhere and they will have these tea lights. You can go to Yankee Candle and they won't have these tea lights. No, I'm just kidding. They'll have these tea lights. And last but not least, you will need a, a lighter. If you're going to use a lighter, please keep it at least like this far away from the jars while they're drying because I just found out that this stuff is flammable, okay? Before you even comment below, it says danger, extremely flammable, vapors may cause flash, flash fires, contents under pressure, vapor harmful. Before usually, carefully read from caution on back panel. I cannot read all that in back panel, so we're just going to abide by the danger that's right there. Yeah, we're just going to follow it and make sure that, uh, yeah, make sure you don't use a lighter next to this. These two do not mix. So once it's dry, then you can put the tea light in, then you can use it. But before, please do not. Oh my gosh, that would be very bad. Please use a parent or guardian if you are 10 or under. Or 12 or 13. Probably about 15 you can use a lighter, but with like guardian like watching you. But if you're like younger than 15, then probably not, no. Uh, next you'll need these printable papers. Haha, <laughs> you guys thought you were gonna have to draw, but no, you weren't gonna have to draw. Well, you kind of are, but not really. Um, you are going to be tracing instead of drawing. Yes, I just made your life easier. Yes, I did not, oh great, I just showed you guys, I did not do these by hand. I could draw this by hand, by the way, just saying. But, yes, you can trace these on. So I will show you guys how I did it, but this is all the stuff pretty much you need to make this happen. Yes. I'm going to see if this works. This is just, I just want to see it. Okay, that looks pretty cool, don't you guys think? Oh, let me turn off the... Yes, pretty darn cool. Now you guys can see them kind of lit up. Oh, there's a candle. Lit up, lit up. You will need one tea light, but if it's not strong enough for some reason, you can use two, but eh, I would just use one. I think all you need is one, but it's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I did step by step so you guys can kind of see. Alright, just moving these jars away. Moving all this stuff away. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so I'm going to take this tree one since I just did this and I have this paper with me. So this is kind of what it came out to. It did, I didn't get the top of it because the jar wasn't big enough. So there's that but if you do want to get the top you can just cut off most of the bottom part and that'll be that'll be fine then you could fit it in but I didn't because I I don't know I just didn't want to do the top it was just too much too many lines so what you'll do is you're going to want to pretty much spin this like around like this so you can get it in the jar because obviously you can't with just it being flat. Second, 
Um, make sure you don't do it on this side because this side has like a rough um, information about the jar and where it's made and things like that. So I did it on the smooth side. Hopefully there's a smooth side. If you guys don't, you may have to do it like this instead of like this, but it all depends on the jar. And you don't have to use, sorry, you don't have to use mason jars. You can use any jar in your house that's empty. You can use a pickle jar, an applesauce jar, um, any kind of jar you guys have in the house. You can use that. You don't have to use mason jars. I just wanted mason jars because I'm currently using all the jars in my house right now. So, um, next you'll need, once you guys, you guys can see this, you guys can see like the outline of the tree. Once you get the outline, all you're pretty much going to do is just draw a line all the way up, all the way down, side, wherever you need to trace. And it will look a little odd, so you might have to close one eye because the line may come over here, but you meant to do it like over here because the jar is rounded, so it may look kind of odd. So you might want to close one eye because it just, it just helps to draw it on there, but yeah. So once you guys finish doing that, it will come out like this, and I will have to, it's still a little bit sticky. Once it's, if, you, if it feels like smooth to the touch and it's not sticky anymore, you can go ahead, take the black marker after it's dried about an hour, and go over it again so it doesn't have like see-through lines, if you guys want to do that, because I've been doing that. And uh, I think this one looks a lot better than this one because you can see the lines in there than this one. So that's what I'm going to do with all these. I'm going to redo them again before I set them out there. It's 4 o'clock and kids are going to be coming around. I'm nervous. But yeah. So I just want to say happy Halloween before you guys leave. I want to show you guys something. Sloan candy time. Got my cold drink. show you all the candy in the world. Candy. Oh, someone got into this one. And it stuck out. It was me. Your my dentist is going to hate me. Just kidding, I'm best friends with my dentist. <laughs> She's going to love me. Yes. Oh, but we need more. And that's how you fill your cauldron. If you guys need your cauldrons filled, please call 1-800-WITCH.COM or 1-800-WITCH and I will be there to fill up your cauldron. I have to remove some of it. So much candy. 
It's too much. It's too much. Oh, All right. One. Three. I can't put the fourth one in. Of course not. of this uh, book, yeah, if you guys see it, yeah. Look at all this candy. I hope you guys find this much candy in your bag. If not, I will share my candy with you. <laughs> I will share it with all of you, my YouTubers. All right, I will see you guys next time with my costume. If you guys guess it, below well then you're a winner because then you know I said I was a t-rex so you guys figure out I'm sure you already have please leave a like below if you liked this episode and if not please leave a like below if you like this episode and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel because why wouldn't you there's all this candy why wouldn't you want all this candy it's Halloween if you don't want all this candy then I'm going to TP your house. I know where you live. Just kidding. Well, I might TP your house. You never know. So please leave a like below or prepare for the TP. T TP. And eggs in your car. If you have cars. All right. I will see you guys next time with another DIY. Or something else. But, you know, Whatever you guys feel like doing, I will do. I will see you guys later. Bye.